The only other improvement I could do would be to put some LEDs in his eyes so they light up when we press the button as well. I've decided I will give him some LEDs for eyes and I've just discovered that he actually splits open quite easily so I should be able to melt some holes for his eyes using the soldering iron and then poke the LEDs straight through from the back here and connect them up to the wires that go to the motor and that should do the job The LEDs I'm going to use are from a set of LEDs, cheap battery operated ones. So I'll just make sure I've got the holes big enough. Yep, that looks okay. I've cut a pair of them off, left the wires between them, so I don't need to solder them up. I've got a tail there. Probably drop a little bit of hot glue on the back of them just to hold them in place. And then solder the tails down onto the motor. In fact it'll make more sense to solder the wires in place first. That one stayed. Could do with three hands again. sockets. Some hot glue on the back. down before I push it all back together. Got the lights off just so we get the best effect out of the LEDs. So if I switch him on. That works for me.